As we ramp up to the official opening of the DNC, NBC's Kelly O'Donnell is inside the Wells Fargo Arena following the breaking developments about Chairwoman Wasserman Schultz and her role at this convention. And Kelly, this is a big deal, the fact that she will be stepping aside from her hard work, what she feels is earned work to be here and open this convention, but seen now as political kryptonite, so to speak, for Hillary Clinton. This is a headline that will last for years, Thomas. That's how big a deal it is. And right now, inside on the arena floor, we see they're bringing in some uh, barriers. They look like typical bike racks, draping them in blue, trying to give, uh, I think, some separation to the stage. It could also have something to do with some of the walkthroughs that may happen today. We know the First Lady of the United States is speaking tonight. Bernie Sanders is speaking tonight. And what we can tell you on Debbie Wasserman Schultz is that the pressure had been building. After the WikiLeaks, a scandal broke after emails revealed that there was sentiment inside the committee that is supposed to remain neutral, that is supposed to have no finger on the scale during the primary process, that there was, in fact, uh, a sentiment toward Hillary Clinton and criticism of Bernie Sanders. That played into a narrative Bernie Sanders has been arguing for months as his improbable campaign won many of the caucuses, some of the primaries, and energized the far left of the party in ways that has not been seen in years. That same energy, which went through a difficult and disappointing period when Clinton clearly won in terms of votes and delegates and superdelegates, has been re-energized here by supporters of Bernie Sanders who say, aha, something was wrong. For Debbie Wasserman Schultz, a member of Congress, she is in a uh, a difficult reelection bid. And as you point out, she has served for five years helping Democrats around the country, being the voice of the party in many instances. This is a painful and disappointing setback for her. She decided that she did not want to be a distraction. My Democratic sources say that that was a decision ultimately reached by her, but with plenty of pushing by others who said it cannot happen. There is no safe, quiet way for her to step onto this stage when we had sources telling us that there was an absolute plan among delegates to make certain that they protested loudly from this floor to make it impossible for her to continue. Thomas? And so, Kelly, what are we hearing about who the official person will be here tonight? Some reporting Baltimore's mayor, Stephanie Rawlings Blake, or maybe the mayor of Flint. What are you hearing? Well, I'm not certain that's been settled yet because my sources are saying that's still a work in progress. What I can tell you is that Marsha Fudge, who is a congresswoman from the Cleveland area and uh, has good relationships with the Clinton team, that she will be the permanent chair of this committee. And what that means is we will, of this convention, we will see her do the roll call of states. We will see her conduct some of the business of this convention. And that is a very high profile role for a member of Congress from a key battleground state. Let me just say it. Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. Now, in the ceremonial way of handing that gavel from person X to Marsha Fudge, we don't have that determined yet. Uh, that's still a work in progress. They have until 4 p.m. to decide that. As soon as my reporting gives us an answer to that or our colleagues, we'll bring that right back to you, Thomas. All right, Kelly O'Donnell on the floor here at Wells Fargo Arena. Kelly, thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.